The next thing I'm going to show you is how great the Cutwork tool is. And if you're not familiar, it transforms your embroidery machine into a cutting device, which is how the key was cut out. So it is this tiny little thing. I don't even expect you to see it from all the way back there, but it's a tiny thing that replaces the needle. And it comes in this nice box that holds all of the different things that you'll need, extra um, chisels and, and that sort of thing. We'll also need to have the vinyl that I showed you earlier hooped in a hoop. Now, this hoop is a different size than the one that we used for our Chicago embroidery, and that's because, number one, I like to um, keep the smallest hoop possible for the design that I'm using, and the vinyl um, is a little bit more expensive, so I can save a little bit on the fabric. The medium hoop that I'm using here is an option with this machine, so it would be an additional thing to purchase, but it's really, really worth it. And lastly, what we need is a USB memory stick. What I have on here is the design for the key. The Cutwork tool also has optional software that allows you to make your own designs. So I made you this super cool key design that is available at myburnett.com. So you don't have to make it. But if you did want to make your own designs, you can certainly try that software. It's awesome. Um, the memory stick goes into the side of the machine, and it's easy as that. And so now we're ready to sew. Now I'm going to pick the design that's on the memory stick that I plugged into the machine. So we're going to go to a new design. It's transferring my data. I'm using the arrow keys to select the USB memory stick. And you can see right here, key, that's the design that's on here. Just a little bit of warning, if you are creating designs on the computer and you're saving it onto the memory stick, you have to make sure that the characters in the file name do not exceed 17 characters. So key is not a problem. But Gail's key for this bag project might be an issue. So just remember to keep it short and sweet. Once the design is highlighted, Select it. Once it's pulled into the machine, we've got the thread, the red thread threaded up above and down below, and I'm ready to attach my hoop and stitch my key. Because we're working on some special material, the vinyl, the tension needs to be increased a little bit just because of the nature of the vinyl. So I'm moving the upper thread tension to 7.5 and that should be good, but we'll check it after we do a few stitches. I'm attaching the hoop with the hooped vinyl and the piece that's been lightly adhered to the top. And this design, the key design, is going to stitch in three parts. The first part is going to stitch a basting stitch around the perimeter of the vinyl. And at this point, I can check to see what the tension looks like. The next step is it's going to embroider the thread in the shape of the key and then stop. At that point, I will remove the needle and replace with the cutwork attachment. All right, let's have a look at the bottom. I'm pretty happy with the way that tension looks, so we're gonna proceed with doing the outline of the key. 
The reason why I'm really concerned about the tension here is because I want it to look as pretty on the bottom as it does on the top. After the key stitches out, it's time to trim the thread, remove the thread, and change the needle. With the cutwork tool, it's recommended to insert the cutwork tool with the indicator between two numbers. So once that's into position, this goes flat piece to the back and the screw for the needle gets tightened down onto the cutwork tool. When the machine transfers from embroidery to cutwork, we see a new icon that appears on the screen that is representative of the cutwork tool so that we know that we're now switching the positions from position one to two to three to four on the cutwork tool and not changing thread. So make sure that you look for that icon on your screen when you're doing cutwork. And we will start with cut one. Now we're gonna turn this to position one lower the presser foot, and start the button. And this is going to cut with position number one. Now it's time to switch to position two, which I've done there. We set it, lower the presser foot, and start again. The machine prompts you to switch to position three and just follow that procedure to do all of three then it will prompt you to do four, and then once four is completed, the process is done and your key will be ready to put on your bag. The key is complete. I'm ready to take it out of the machine and out of the hoop. And this is easy. It came out perfectly. I love it. And this we can just put aside. Let's get back to regular sewing by turning off the machine unplugging the embroidery module and sliding it off <laughs> and when you put the module on it automatically drops the feed dogs but we have to manually raise them which is what I'm doing back here on the machine and then we'll put the accessory tray back on the machine Voila.